Welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. It's time to do a beer haul video. So as you know, uh, well you may not know, or you may now know, is I'm on holiday and I'm very close to Adnams Brewery in Southwold. So I popped to the brewery today to, well, to go to their brewery shop and buy some beers. So as you can see, we've got a big Adnams at the Southwold bag on the side, sitting on top of my stove. So let's crack on and I'll show you what we've picked up today. So, where should we start? Let's start with, let's start with this. This is actually a gin, it's a, a pre-mixed gin. This is for Rachel, a Copper House dry gin. Perfectly mixed with tonic water, coming in at 5% ABV. So a little tonic, gin and tonic for the wife. Uh, beer wise, we're Adams, 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 triple knot. This has got all sorts going on. It's allegedly inspired by Belgian beers, so that should be really interesting. I love a good Belgian beer. So yeah, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? ABV wise, this comes in at, it comes in at, can't see the ABV for love nor money. 10% ABV, nice, very nice. So yeah, triple knot, 2018. Looks amazing, doesn't it? All the words that are on the side of there, lots of good stuff in there. Orange blossom, honey, pear drops, triple malt, yasmin, floral on the nose, lavender, and a biscuit aroma. Sounds amazing. I bought two of those because I know that's going to be good. Never had it, but I just know it's going to be good. So yeah, there's a second bottle. Anything that's inspired by Belgium is going to be good, isn't it, normally? Um, then we've got the Innovation IPA coming in at 6.7% ABV looks nice made of centennial hops wheat with grapefruit tropical fruits white pepper spiciness and biscuit flavors big bold and hoppy looking forward to that one and then we picked up a can of the English lager I've uh, got quite into trying different lagers at the minute and this one's called Cobalt 4.7% ABV nice ABV for a lager so yeah I might review that one later who knows or I might just review one of those later. Whatever you see, if you want me to review it, then stick something in the comments and I'll try and review it. A 330ml can, next one is a New England IPA coming in at 6% ABV, looks quite straightforward. New England IPA. Okay, another 330ml can, this one uh, does interest me because I can't stand El Grey tea, but it's El Grey Lager and it's 5% ABV. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that one. I can't stand Earl Grey tea. So this says it's a proper brew, pale and crisp with fresh citrus flavors from tea pigs. Darjeeling Earl Grey tea. Pink is up. Uh, tea infused lager. Should be interesting that. Apparently it's great with lemon, lemon chicken and Indian inspired dishes. Let's see about that. So yeah, Earl Grey lager. Put that on there. Uh, this one sounds right up my street as well. This one's called a Tally Ho, a traditional dark ale, an unashamedly strong winter warmer. Love winter warming dark owls, absolutely love them. Uh, limited edition barley wine, I love barley wines. I've done a couple of barley wines on the channel. Have I done a couple? I've definitely done one. Uh, this comes in at 7.2% and I just love barley wines. I think they're fantastic. So looking forward to that one. Again, I think I bought two of those because I know I'm going to like it. So yeah, I did. Got two of those. One for review and then one for chilling and enjoying. And then we have Blackshaw Stout coming in at 4.2% ABV. Rich, smooth, dark chocolate and coffee flavours. Nice stout. Nice big 500ml bottle. Put that there. And then uh, this isn't made by Adnams, but in their shop, their shop's huge and they sell all sorts. Uh, lots of wines, uh, they do lots of whiskies and things. I took some photographs of the brewery, I'll attach them to this video. Uh, but they do some other beers that aren't their own. They've got a few German beers in, and I picked this one up. I'm not sure how to pronounce this because I haven't reviewed it, it just sounds pretty cool. Uh, it's a Schwartz beer, it's a black lager beer from that brewery. I don't know how you pronounce that one. Any ideas they say that, Nathan? No, I was <laughs> going to attempt, but uh, no. Leah, do you know how to say that word? Have a go. I don't know. Is that a K? I don't know whether that is that a K or a B. Who knows? 
I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but it's a Schwartz beer and it's uh, Germany's number one black lager beer. So looking forward to trying that one, 4.8% ABV. And let's move that gin out of the way. Let's pop that one there. Uh, also picked up a new glass. It'd be rude not to pick up a new glass at a brewery as well, wouldn't it? And this one's for their lager. It's the Kobold glass, nice big glass as well. And what else did we also pick up? Because myself and the wife, we, we like gins. Uh, so, picked up a, a measure. A single, double. A bit rose gold, very nice. Goes with our gin stuff that we've got at home. So we picked that up as well. Uh, also picked up a broadside, Adnan's broadside tea towel. I didn't buy Broadside, but I've had Broadside plenty of times, and uh, it's a really good beer, Broadside. Really nice, strong, dark ale. So let's have a look at this tea towel. Whether we, this probably won't ever get used as a tea towel. It's probably going to end up going on the wall. But yeah, there it is. Keep going all the way up. It's basically the label that's on the side of uh, the bottle of Broadside. That's huge. But that is a big old tea towel, isn't that? It's very nice like that but yeah broadside's good beer if you've not had broadside go and check it out that is available everywhere broadside in all good supermarkets and then the last and the last thing is uh, the wife's purchase because she loves gin we've got an awful lot of gin at our house um, might start reviewing some and this one is adnam's copper house pink gin copper steeled with a raspberry there it is. So it's first thing with refreshing raspberry flavours made with their award-winning Copperhouse Dry Gin. Delicious served, with ice, delicious served with ice and tonic, garnished with garden, mint, leaves and raspberry. Sounds like a cracker. We like gin. There you go. That's my haul from Adnams Brewery. Uh, if there's anything you want to see reviewed fairly quickly, stick something in the comments and I'll get it reviewed as soon as I can or ASAP. Um, I may well review one of these tonight, who knows. But there you go, that's uh, my little beer haul. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye.